been a painter for 24 years. Spent my whole life in the paint industry, working my way up from the bottom. We were in a yacht, stripping out crew quarters. There's three of us in the work area. We were told to stay in there and don't come out until it was done. And uh, that, that's when we just were in there for too long. We started applying the stripper at a 90% methylene chloride in it, which come to find out that was the problem. You started slowly losing consciousness, became dizzy, lightheaded, the world was spinning. Next thing I know, it felt like I was waking up. I looked over at my two other coworkers. One guy was completely unconscious and the other guy was crouched down and looked like he slid down a wall into his feet. We we're in and out of consciousness. There was vomiting, dizziness, headaches to the point of where we had to be removed and revived on shore. I absolutely believe we could have died out there. I think it's amazing that we're still here. The paint stripper that Jason used that day contained methylene chloride, a toxic chemical that can kill you within minutes if you're not protected properly. And yet, you can easily find methylene chloride on the shelves of your local hardware or paint store. It's widely used as a paint remover by professionals and consumers alike. And here's why it's so dangerous. First, you breathe in the vapors or absorb it through your skin. It can immediately irritate the eyes, nose and throat, <coughs> cause headaches and nausea, and prolonged skin contact can cause severe burns and even small exposures are harmful over time. Chronic, long-term methylene chloride exposure can damage the liver, kidneys, and nerves, and it can cause cancer. Well, back in the day, we principally were using uh, methylene chloride-based strippers because basically that, that was all that was available at the time. Some precautions were taken, but we never really realized the inherent dangers. When in the past, we were using those chemicals muy peligrosos, que muy pronto, muy fácil te podías quemar. Les cae en la cara, en la piel. Con el guante lo traen sucio, se tocan la piel de la cara y se, se, se queman. The more we worked on these projects, kind of the more we became aware of the health issues, the safety issues, that kind of growing, gnawing sense that this was um, not really a material that we really wanted to use. Exposure to methylene chloride can even result in death, especially if you use methylene chloride products in a small room with poor ventilation. The vapors can build up within several minutes to dangerous concentrations, and because the vapors are heavier than air, they remain after application if there is not proper ventilation. Methylene chloride is easily absorbed into the body through the lungs and skin. It turns into carbon monoxide and prevents red blood cells from delivering oxygen, which can cause a heart attack or asphyxiation. In one recent incident, a 52-year-old bathtub reglazer was using methylene chloride to strip a bathtub. There was no ventilation, and the only protective equipment he had was a pair of latex gloves. He lost consciousness and was later found dead, slumped over the side of the tub. There have been at least 56 deaths linked to methylene chloride since 1980, and at least 16 of these since 2000 involve bathtub refinishers. But why do these tragedies continue to happen? For one, it's very hard to know which products are safer because they are often intermingled with the more toxic products on store shelves. The warnings on the labels are hard to understand and don't give all the information needed to protect oneself. For instance, the labels warn of cancer risks, but do not make clear the possibility of rapid death. So what can be done to protect workers and consumers? Product substitution is best. Use safer alternatives such as those containing benzyl alcohol, dimethyl glutarate, or dimethyl adipate. Avoid using products that contain methylene chloride, 
or NMP, as this chemical can cause reproductive harm. You can also use alternative methods like sanding or a heat gun to remove paint. These field-tested, safer alternatives may take a little more time, but usually are just as effective as the methylene chloride products. For example, products containing benzyl alcohol may require a longer dwell time, but are readily used by professionals. Nos ha resultado muy bueno porque es el más amigable para el trabajador y también trabaja bien en las superficies que se necesita remover la pintura. I know there are those who are going to feel like they have no alternative but to use the methylene chloride based strippers. If you're going to, uh, use them responsibly. Using methylene chloride products responsibly requires significant personal protective equipment. As you can see, the precautions for safer alternatives such as benzyl alcohol are less time consuming and less expensive. When we first started using methylene chloride, it was a suspected carcinogen. Now it's basically been proven to be a carcinogen. The use of those materials puts, not only putting the employees at risk, but those around them. So we feel like using safer materials is just uh, is like a no-brainer. Si nos va a tomar a veces un poco más de tiempo, hacerlo más seguro, tomamos un poco más de tiempo para hacerlo más seguro. Porque hay veces lo rápido es más peligroso, puede traer peores consecuencias. Unfortunately, the injury just doesn't stop with the individual victim. It encompasses your family, your loved ones. Uh, I think it's imperative that every painter understands that methylene chloride is not a chemical to be involved in paint stripping. There's so many safer products out there to be used.